Hi everyone, welcome to What to Read Wednesday, and today's theme is all about apple picking. It's apple picking season, and I know my family is getting ready to go out and pick some apples in the orchard. Um, a little close, a town close to where we live has tons of apple orchards, and we always go there every year and pick apples and then come home and do some baking. So I thought for this week I would share some apple picking books with you and activities that you can do with kids. So the first book I want to talk to you about is a book about Johnny Appleseed. This story, it's called that, Johnny Appleseed. You'll find a lot of books written about Johnny Appleseed. This is one that just explains about who he was, what he did. So this is a great way to get children introduced to who Johnny Appleseed was and kind of you can also talk about legends or tall tales. You can bring a lot of that in and talk to them about who he was and what he did for the country. So that's a cute book to read. Another one that I chose is a nonfiction book and it's called The Life and Times of the Apple. And I chose this book to share with you because one, it really is a good book for walking through exactly from the beginning to the end of how an apple starts out, starting out growing on the tree. And what I like about this is it's a nonfiction book and I've always say that we need to expose kids to nonfiction books even at a young age. They need to be exposed to them. Nonfiction text is usually laid out in a different format than fiction, and that's what I like about this story. It's called The Life and Times of the Apple, and all through it, like this, these pages talk about apple blossom time, so it talks about what happens, how the buds come out, what is the temperature they come out in, it gives you pictures of what it looks like, but as you can see from these two pages, this kind of text, this nonfiction text, is laid out very differently than a story that is a fiction story. So let me give you an example. The third book I wanted to share with you is called Apple Picking Time. This is a really nice book about a little girl who goes with her whole family to pick apples. And the other thing I like about this book is it has a lot of vocabulary because we really want to build children's vocabulary. That's the other important thing we want to be doing. So it has words like orchard, um, it has canvas bag, harness. So there's a lot of words that you're going to be introducing to children when you read it and you can very quickly tell them what the words mean. They can see pictures of it. But this is a fiction story. So you can see it's your typical book where you have a picture and you have your words for the story versus a non-fiction story where the text is set up much differently. This one is the times of an apple. So it has a timeline down here. Um, the page I showed you before, here's a page, Apple Varieties, so it talks about the different types of apples. Nonfiction books are set up very differently, and we want kids to be exposed to that because once they get into the upper grades and get older, the nonfiction texts are the texts that seem to give kids the most trouble with comprehending. So if we start them now with picture books, it'll get them ready for those upper grades. So I hope you enjoyed those three books I had for you today. I am looking forward to getting out into the orchard and picking some apples with my family. I hope maybe you'll do the same thing. And I will see you next Wednesday. Take care.